Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave is here, and I am cheap. Sure. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Vertical Drop Heroes HD. Last time around, we had a great, great game and really put ourselves in a, uh, a great and advantageous place. Could I say great one more time? Yes, I could. Great. So uh, let's get into it. What are we going to do this time? Let's take a quick look at our options here. Vile Thread, Shadow Finger, and Oak Spawn. Uh, well, we've got decent health on our uh, bookends here on Oak and on Vile. Uh, good damage on Vile with the Staff, so he's got a little bit extra dodge capability. Minus 5 HP. Standard weapon here. We've got Firewalker and Greedy on both of them. So really, it's uh, it's a toss-up between these two. So we've got Shadow and Fast Strike here, and Shadow and Shield here. Uh, I do like the offensive nature of Fast Strike, so I'll take... Uh, yeah, I'll take Fast Strike. And we haven't tried out Shadow yet, so that's going to be an interesting one to actually try. So we are rolling in cash right now. So what do we do? What do we do? Well, I think one of the things that we do for certain is we give this guy uh, most of it because I like I like having some damage. So uh, two more ticks on our damage there, uh, which is going to really make us uh, quite... Uh, a bit more powerful. I think we're going to be getting close to one-shotting most of those second-level enemies. And uh, with 200 left, I think uh, health. We need more health. So we go from 64 to 71 health, and uh, the world is good and great, and all things are wonderful. Let's go to the Goblin Forest. Let's do it. Here we go. So yeah, the Goblin Forest going to go pacifist as we uh, as we do. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to try something different. Forget about pacifism. I'm going to hit every single alarm along the way and I'm just going to I'm just going to see how that fares for me. Uh, not this is not a scientific uh, by any means, a scientific test of any kind. Greedy. God, I love you so much, Greedy. I love you. I love you so much. Uh, but this is not a scientific uh, endeavor here. We are just literally uh, ooh, not a not a good jump there. Uh, just we're just literally giving some giving this a try. Uh, pacifism, I think, is is potentially a valid way to play the game once you start to level up uh, your pacifism, uh, your pacifist orbs, your peace orbs. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see how it goes here. Just uh, spamming every alarm that we can. So what does she want? She wants a diamond ring. It's probably in a treasure chest. It might be in this treasure chest, and it is. So yeah, well, great, wonderful. We'll take it. All right, more enemies. Killing everything in sight, just absolutely straight murdering all these uh, goblin guys. Gonna miss one there. Yeah, we're gonna miss him. Uh, that is uh, the HP to full. Uh, yeah, I mean, it would be nice to have uh, three additional max HP, but I mean, we're leveling up pretty quickly. I, I don't necessarily think that's something that we absolutely require, so we'll go down this way only because uh, there is an alarm over here. And of course, the alarm puts uh, the enemies out of reach. That is unfortunate. But we'll make sure to grab our keys. You know, I think we're doing uh, we're doing pretty well here on Vertical Drop Heroes uh, in general. Just you know, check in with the series. How are things going? Well, uh, they're going pretty darn good so far, and uh, I think we're progressing at a nice clip. And things are going uh, going swimmingly, moving along as they should be. We're getting deeper and deeper into the game every single time we play, and I think that is uh, that is a great thing. And uh, I could see us going, you know, a little while longer. Oh, let's see, fast strike. A little while longer on the series and, uh, you know, maybe even beating this thing uh, sooner or later. So uh, that could be really, really neat. So we're just going to keep uh, moving downward here as, of course, we have no choice but to do. And collecting, collecting. Again, greedy just coming in so handy. And, you know, I've got uh, Firewalker as well, which is a trait that is going to be uh, mostly useless until it is useful. And at that point, it's going to pay for itself. And if I go an entire run without getting a fire level, uh, that's okay. I am willing to give up a trait spot uh, just to the peace of mind that having uh, Firewalker gives me. So no complaints here, even if we get no fire levels whatsoever. All right, and our first boss, generally a pretty simple one. Uh, so let's try out Shadow. Now, supposedly with Shadow, I go uh, invisible for three seconds, and if I kill something, I continue to be invisible. Uh, so we'll hit Shadow. That's going to extend our uh, stealth ability. And then at some point, we are going to unstealth, and there we go. So uh, yeah, that hit from melee really did a lot. So I'm wondering the Shadow, I guess, conveys a... 
damage bonus. Also, we're just doing a lot more damage. So, you know, we're going to see these enemies, uh, these early game bosses, just dying a lot, a lot faster as we get more powerful. So that's kind of no surprise in, in one way. Uh, what's going on here? Strange but true, the Guardians are not one but two. Two bosses, okay. Lots of Peace Orbs, so, you know, we're, we're not going to not pick them up. But the first time we see an alarm, we are going to trigger it. I'm just going to go back over here, Peace Orb. I mean, that thing is worth three XP and five gold. That was worth the time to walk back over there and pick it up. Two keys to, to get down and pay 100 coins to uh, set a checkpoint. No, thank you. Uh, I don't know when that's going to come in handy. I guess probably much later in the game when uh, you're kind of just done with doing all this uh, early game stuff and you just don't care about it anymore. Great. Spikes. Uh, you know, so that I, I could see that at some point when 100 gold is a trivial amount of money. Uh, yeah, I could definitely see it uh, coming in handy. So we're, we're one-shotting most of these guys. I wish these guys would stop falling on my head. We're one-shotting most of these guys, which I think is, is you know, getting close to kind of where we want to be with our uh, power. We'll kill him, then trigger the alarm. Uh, yeah, let's play around with Shadow a bit. Extending our Shadow period here. Lots of, uh, lots of guys to kill. Lots of guys to kill. Staying in the shadows, staying stealthed here. Lovely and wonderful. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. I believe Shadow giving you an immunity to uh, getting hit in melee. I believe that's what it does, if I recall correctly. Uh, we do need to sometimes utilize those guys at the beginning uh, in the... Uh, in the uh, Shrine of Restoration or whatever the thing that is uh, where you start the game. Uh, we do need to better utilize those guys uh, to remind us of what our abilities do because uh, sometimes we forget what our abilities do, like just now. So that alarm ended up not really working out. Uh, ow. Not really working out for us. Let's fast strike. Okay, good. I, so that was exactly where I was hoping it would take me. Well, that worked out very nicely. And uh, those, those kills, those upper ledge kills with Greedy are just so, so valuable. I killed that guy. He dropped a gold. I never could have gotten to that gold if I didn't have Greedy. But I'm one gold richer uh, because that guy, because I have Greedy, because that guy was, was normally out of reach. Uh, yeah, yeah, a ranger, I just, I don't, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling a ranger. Uh, so we won't feel a, a ranger. We won't get one out of the cage. Another alarm. Of course we're going to do that. Uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting one down here. We've got uh, an awful lot going on. I think we're going to start out with a shadow. Head down here. Not immune to uh, ranged attacks, but we are still immune to melee. So we are going to go ahead and use that to our advantage to just absolutely wail on these guys and destroy them. And uh, yeah, we, just, we, we really just uh, took those bosses out in no time. So we will recharge and then we will depart. I could probably get one or two more kills here, but uh, there's really no point in it. I just want to get out and I want to get moving. If you see magma, don't jump in. The lava here will burn your skin. All right, so uh, lava, lava could mean fire. Uh, and we do have our firewalker trait, so uh, we're in business. Let's see, what are you offering? Magic blades. Summon three magical swords that rotate around the hero. 200. That's most of our money. Uh, but yeah, I mean, abilities... They seem like you want more and more of them because you want more and more interesting builds. Ah, man. Okay, sure. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, so the thief, you know, we definitely want to uh, to follow him around. Again, Greedy is going to make the thief a lot more valuable. We should get every single coin that the, uh, that the thief spawns. Want to make sure that we keep our thief alive, though. All right, making sure that we're getting every single coin that the thief spawns, and there is the gem. So now the thief's just going to do a little work for us. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. A couple of werewolf fellas here. Probably could have used a shadow there, but, uh, you know, oh well. Eh, lightning. Maybe I would have done that uh, earlier if I had uh, actually checked it, but I didn't. So the blue vials, I believe those actually restore uh, ability points. Uh, let's test it out. I'll hit shadow and then collect it. Nothing happened. Oh, I don't know. So maybe I don't know what those do. Let's not die. Uh, okay, that's good. Thanks for not dying. Uh, fireballs, 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 no. All 
All right, werewolves. What do you want, fella? I took out a cool beast a while ago. If you can defeat three more, I'll increase your damage by two. Guess what, bud? I already defeated two. And there's only one more left on the level, probably. And he's right there. Uh, can I fast strike to him? Let's see. Ah, uh, no. Don't. Okay. Uh, is it really worth my time to... Ch oh, you didn't fast strike? Come on. Fast strike. There you go. All right. So that should be my third. And there we go. Plus two damage for the rest of the run. I like it. I like it. Uh, sure. Restoration, why not? Drop on that guy's head. Okay, so... Kind of just assessing the run now, sort of thinking where we're going to end up with this. Uh, I'm hoping to make it to about level 6 with this. Oh, the old Knoll. So this guy, I believe, has Fast Strike as one of his abilities. Uh, so let's fast strike him. And then we'll hit Shadow, which is again going to give us that immunity to melee attacks, uh, which is going to allow us to do uh, quite a bit of damage to him without any damage done to ourselves. And there we go. Shadow again, just to. Yeah, I wasn't. I guess I wasn't necessarily getting nervous there, but, uh, you know, the less damage I can take, the better. Uh, and I do have a Restoration Shrine, so there's really no reason to. Uh, there's no reason to, to hold on to abilities in the boss fights when these shrines are just right here. Alright, fast strike. And let's get our Shrine of Restoration going here. Can we jump? Yes, we can. Alright, there we go. Treasure chests contain better loot than crates, but require a key to open. Thanks. Thanks for the tip. Thanks for the tip. Uh, so we are starting to probably, uh, very likely, be outclassed by some of these enemies. Uh, enemies that are definitely going to take two hits, as opposed to uh, some of the enemies we were nearly killing in one hit last time. That was very, that was very interesting. Uh, the way that that uh, moving platform actually sort of uh, dictated how that water... Oh, no, 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 no. We are stuck. We are stuck, and we are dead. Okay, so that's the second time... Uh, in recent memory that I've kind of gotten stuck in a corner like that. Uh, I don't like that. I, I don't like that at all. Not one bit. So here we go. Stone, stone tear or stone tear. Flame cut and ring shaker. Ring shaker. I like that. I like the sound of that. All right. So uh, Stony here has our highest damage, mega jump and shield. We've got our new ability magic blades here on uh, flame cut. And we've got uh, death puppet. Uh, but we've also got Death Puppet with Magic Blade over here, Iron Foot, Firewalker. I want Greedy. Nobody's got Greedy. Uh, but they have the uh, most calloused foot uh, feet known to man with Iron Foot and Firewalker. So, uh, yeah, you don't think I'm just going to go for Flame Cut. He can block damage, moves a little bit slower, but I want to see Magic Blades. And I always love having Death Puppet. Uh, so I think we're just going to conserve this time around. This, this damage is getting to be so expensive. I think I'm going to conserve for one run and then see where we are from there. So let's go. Let's do it. Wow, he really is slow. All right, well, uh, we've got one more piece orb that we can grab before we start murdering people. The speed difference is just insane. Okay, it's really, really bad. But we won't let that get us down. Uh, not having greedy, I think, is uh, is is going to be huge. Uh, really, is going to be huge. I, I think I might be at a point where I don't buy any more traits at all, in order to reduce the number of traits uh, that are in the pool. Because it's kind of uh, it's probably advantageous to have as few as possible. Okay, well she's lost her diamond ring. There's a treasure chest way over yonder. Oh, good, I made that jump uh, that I cannot get to, but maybe there'll be a portal. Uh, how, how worth it is it? Nice block there. Uh, I, I don't even know. I don't know that it's even worth it to, to try and go back up and get that treasure chest. Uh, let's just get through this level. Uh, not as quickly as we can, <clears throat> excuse me, because, you know, this is, this is a, an early level where we can uh, pretty much kill everything uh, rather easily. So we do want to take advantage of that. Miss an enemy or two here or there. That just happens sometimes. 
Excuse me. All right, let's try our death blades out. Oh, I like it, I like it. All right, it took about, you know, a third of his life. I can live with that. Nice block there, timely block. Yeah, so magic blade's probably not uh, the best thing ever, but I liked it, I liked it quite a bit, and it was a uh, decent enough ability. I could definitely see that getting me out of, uh, definitely see that getting me out of some jams. Uh, so uh, the, your haste will cause you extra, uh, extra harm. A bomb appears with each alarm, so we are uh, disincentivized to uh, actually activate alarms this time around. So yeah, we got five keys, not a whole lot to do with them. I see a wizard and uh, I don't know, was that a paladin down there? But I don't really see any good reason to free them. So our damage is just nearly there, <clears throat> just nearly there with a couple of level ups. Uh, we are on level three at this point. With a couple of level ups, we are uh, almost killing things in one shot. Not quite there yet. And that's why I always talk about my base damage, wanting to get my base damage higher. I want my base damage higher so that my level two or three damage is high enough to kill these enemies in one shot. And then two or three levels later is killing the next level enemies in one or two shots and so forth and so on. Uh, you know, it, it's a cascade thing. My base damage really determines my uh, th my ramp up, how quickly my damage ramps up, and how uh, easily I can then kill enemies. Because I want to take as little damage as possible. You know, I don't want to get caught in any of, any of those crazy little, you know, uh, death. See there, see that little thing I was doing there, that little rise up. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a bug or what. But that little thing is what has has killed me on two separate runs. All right, with 10 keys, I absolutely have to open that. And uh, we will. We will absolutely open it for certain. Uh, yeah, God. Note to self, don't pick a guy with a buckler again. Don't pick a guy with a sword and shield ever again. Uh, a thief... I mean, sure. I'm going to wait for this uh, quill board to turn around, though. And now we should be able to take him out fairly easily. Yeah, he does still have a little bit of a swing, but uh, spawn four enemies to gain 50 XP. If all four of those enemies spawn in here, it could be pretty bad. But let's Death Puppet and then spawn them. And uh, that worked out pretty well. That worked out pretty well. So we'll grab our Thief. And he is going to start to produce lots and lots of gold for us here. Good block. Good block indeed. Block, yes, thank you. All right, Thief, don't get yourself killed, buddy. Don't get yourself killed. Oh, no, I mistimed my jump. And there's an... Oh, there's a bomb. Try to jump here. All right. Okay, so uh, now let's go ahead and hit our... Uh, our Magic Blades actually would be pretty nice because we can kind of use it and take out these guys up above us. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's a good use of that item. Uh, and it's kind of showing its uh, its usefulness right there. Don't you fall down here with me. All right, Death Puppet, uh, because we know we're going to get hit, and the Death Puppet's going to just absolutely destroy these guys when we do get hit. And, uh, yeah, that went about exactly like we thought it would. I don't think I can make that jump. Ah, uh, I just don't think I can make it. Those three coins are taunting me there. I just I want them so badly, but I'm just not going to make it. I'm just not going to make that jump. So, yeah, let's move on. Level number three, the Endless Desert. Unless you want to mess about, there is another portal out. Okay. Lots of pacifist orbs here. No good reason that we shouldn't grab those. Uh, yeah, only one more orb in, uh, in uh, our sight lines here. Wow, okay, that guy teleported. That was a bit odd. So we've got a restoration shrine here. Not a whole lot of reason to, ooh, not a whole lot of reason to use it, uh, but we can go ahead and use our magical mystical blades. Do a little bit of damage here. Uh, yeah, we'll use those again. Sure, why not? And again, we do have that shrine. We can probably make it back to over there. And luckily, we don't have to spend a key to get down here. Midas Touch creates 12 golden hands that expand in a ring, making coins if they hit enemies and turning normal blocks into unstable golden blocks. That sounds awesome. I will purchase that regardless of its cost because it just sounds so cool. I don't care how much it costs. All right, so I think I'm going to just make my way back over to the shrine here. 
uh, just to restore. Might as well use one more Magic Blade. Cast that out there just uh, so it is uh, spinning around me. All right, and Magic Blade's doing work. I really like it. I really like it. All right, what do you want, wizard? Three ancient tablets. Probably have already passed one or two of them. This appears to be one of them. Nope. Ice bolts. No, thank you. I'm sure that that ice bolt shrine is probably useful, but because of the one time that I used it and got killed, I will probably never use it again. Uh, four enemies to get two gems. Sure. Yeah, let's, uh, let's fire up a death puppet before we do it, though, just in case we do get hit. Oh, okay. We didn't get hit. That's fine. There we go. Oh, there's one of our friend's ancient tablets. Lots and lots of death puppet missiles going off everywhere. Another key. Again, we really don't have many, uh, many uses for keys right now, but uh, we do have a nice uh, free portal here. We don't have to fight the boss. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go for it. Why not? There we go. Open all unlocks and opens every crate, chest, door, and cage within a large radius of your hero without consuming any keys. I like that. I like it. I like it. I think this is going to be a run where we buy a lot of things because a lot of good things are popping up right now. And we have another gentleman over here. What are you selling me? Raise the dead. Summon four skeletons on random visible tiles. That sounds great, but at this point, I, I just don't... I don't feel like I need to buy another trait... That sounds great. Yeah, I'll buy it. Sure. You know, I saved the money on the last run for a reason, and this was was this was that reason. Mm, sure. I mean, there's a chest in here. There is a, a, a gain a key thing in here, so it's kind of a free, uh, sort of a free a free entrance. Oh, I missed the chest. Oh, come on. I think I could still get back up in there. Oh no no no. Don't do me like that. Okay, whatever. Whatever. It's not the end of the world. And then I die. You know, one thing I do have to say uh, right off the bat, is I am so glad that these things don't crush you. I am so glad that they don't crush you. Uh, I discovered that in a, in a past episode and didn't really, didn't really say anything about it. Like, I didn't make a big deal about it. But, man, that is one of my favorite things in this game. <laughs> Because I would have been crushed by that so many times. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of enemies on the screen, so let's just uh, spinning blades and you know just work them over a little bit. You know, we do still uh, want to try to win. I mean, I, this is a slow character. I feel a bit uh, hamstrung with him here, uh, but I still want to win. So that means I need to level up because I'm gonna need to. Uh... I'm glad I blocked that, but I'm really just I'm really just mad at myself for dropping at that particular moment when I could have easily uh, made a different choice. Okay, you with your flies. I don't know, you know, maybe it's the flies that are that are doing it. I mean, the flies are, are really kind of a weird uh, a weird enemy. Maybe they're part of the reason that I had a, a so much trouble dying in those little uh, those little uh, pits before. Call a hero. Summons a random hero to your side. Okay, uh, that's. I, I'm not regretting lacking the funds to purchase that one. Uh, yeah, not interested in that. A key for a crate and uh, one... Oh, I like that these guys are now, like, regular enemies. The uh, grubs there, chub. I really like that. Wow, okay. So we've got one of those guys down here. Uh, so let's go ahead and... Uh, let's blades and puppets. Might as well. Because he's definitely going to hit us. And when he does, our death puppet is going to do some serious damage. I almost want to get hit. There we go. Finish him off, death puppet. Thank you very much. Just go ahead and finish these guys off. Lots of kills. Every single one of them counting for more and more XP, giving us more gold, giving us more keys, giving us more of everything that we want. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. You know, I haven't talked too much about this uh, as we've played through the game, but, you know, I've really, really been impressed by uh, by Vertical Drop Heroes. I mean, I was impressed by it in my initial first impression, but the more that I've played it, uh, the, the more that that has, has remained true. So, 
it, it's, it's a gem of a game, and I hate that I don't see more people talking about it. Uh, turn invisible for 10 seconds long, you get past enemies. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, we're starting to get to the point where something like that might be advantageous, uh, but, uh, you know, we're okay for now. Yikes. So I don't know if our level ramping has actually sort of kept pace. Uh, looks like we're a little bit behind, but at the same time, we're not doing that poorly. Uh, tough, a new trait. Start with 33% more HP. That actually is really good, and I guess to a certain extent, I, I am a bit, uh, a bit upset that I don't have the option to get that. So yeah, these guys are taking nearly three hits almost every time. That is not what I want to see, not what I want to hear. I also don't want to die. Okay. Tricky, jumpy mushrooms. Making me do things that I don't want to do. Um, I mean, I. this is the place where the game gets actually really strategic. Uh, because I, I, I want to run to the bottom of the level and get out of here as fast as I can. But if I do that, I'm going to be ill-equipped to actually fight the next level. So... What does one do? Well, I think you have to sort of man up and you have to uh, you have to kill these guys. You have to fight through it. And if you are not yet strong enough to fight through it, then you are not the hero of the prophecy, are you? I think not. I think not. All right, here we go. So many flies, so many flies. I am going to run away from that. I think just the, the sheer number of flies is uh, it's counterproductive. Oh god, those freaking skull-faced chihuahuas. Oh my lord. At least we do have the... Uh, oh, no, we don't... That, I was going to say, uh, the Firewalker trait is not going to help us there. Okay, oh my goodness. Let's. Uh, let, we're dead. We're pretty much dead. Uh, okay, we got a couple of lucky blocks. We got to get these... Got to get these guys off the screen with their fly spawning. Because flies don't, uh, flies don't abide by the rules of the road. And we're dead. Flies, man. Flies. Oh, jeez. Flies just killing me. Killed by the giant fly with all those baby flies. Look at all these enemies, man. Oh, look at all these enemies. It's insane. It's absolutely insane, the, the number of enemies that was on this level. Anyway, guys, that's Vertical Drop Heroes HD. Another great episode. Uh, I really, really love this game. I really love this game. I would highly recommend that you take a look at it and uh, perhaps throw your hat into the Vertical Drop Heroes HD ring as well. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.